Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline and I am back today to share some empties. This is my little glamorous empties bag and it is seriously overflowing. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I've been loving lately. So this is a body wash that is very nice, very gentle for the skin. I bought it from the online L'Oreal sale. Um, it was really good. It definitely uh, was quite gentle on the skin, a little bit watery in consistency. So um, I'm kind of missing that like thick gel format. So I'll probably use that next, um, but this is really good. I have another backup waiting um, and obviously a really great deal. This was superb for the winter when my skin was a little bit more prone to itching and dryness, um, but good for the whole family. So that is a definite win. Okay, so these shampoos were fantastic from Avon. Their Elastine uh, collection is probably Elastin. This is the Propoly Thera Damage Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. This is more for like damaged hair. My hair is not exactly damaged, so it was quite moisturizing. Um, I do like the pump format. Um, I wouldn't be purchasing it again right now, but the whole idea of propolis in skincare is something that I like. So these were good and I would definitely recommend them. I use the Detoxifying Sheet Mask from Masquerade. It has cactus, lemon, lemon and geranium oil. Um, infused with cactus extract. I don't really know what that means. This was wonderful. It's formulated in Canada, made in Korea. Um, Masquerade is a Canadian brand, so I would definitely recommend it. This made my skin feel really nice and plump. I also use this aloe one from the face shop just last night. Oh, it is really superb, this one. Um, it moisturized my skin very well, left it looking great. Don't mind this. It's like tired sunscreen face after a really long day, but this mask was really great. It comes in two pieces as well, so it stays on beautifully and fits. Regardless of your face shape, it fits really well. So I would recommend that. I have two food items. I know this is totally off-brand, but I had to mention um, these Hippie Snack Cauliflower Crisps were delicious. So if you are kind of like vegan or you want to, you know, try something that might be like a chip but a little bit healthier, these were very flavorful, really satisfying, and I found a little goes along with those, so would recommend them. I'm obsessed with the Walmart Great Value Fruit Mix for smoothies. This was stupendous. Um, I guess it says makes four smoothies, but you could add like some extra banana and stuff in here, but it was such a great, great value um, and delicious. This is the mango, strawberry, passion fruit, and banana. Oh, it was great. I'm definitely going to buy that again. Just had to mention because it's really affordable and good to stay healthy and have some smoothies. These, I might actually have two of these in here, but they are the Pixi Glow Tonic To Go pads. I use these all over my face, chest, and back. They're just a wonderful glycolic acid and aloe vera cleansing pad. Um, I mean, kind of cleansing, but exfoliating. So I use these before bed on days when I'm not using retinol, and I find it just preps my skin very well um, to receive retinol and, you know, takes off that dead skin without having to scrub. So those are great. Dry Idea Stress Shield Antiperspirant <laughs> Deodorant Roll-On. This is great. It's hard to find. Um, it works really well. It's like the least sexy product on earth. Made in Canada. They're actually yeah, really difficult to come by. So now I'm going to be using the Avon Roll-On, which is like $2 and so much easier to get a hold of. Um, this was fine. If you see it, I think I bought that at the dollar store. But Walmart sometimes has them. Um, but anyways, it's good. Just hard to find. The Luxurious Volume Dry Shampoo from John Frieda. Terrible. Really did not like that. Don't buy it. Um, oh, these are so good. I actually just smelled this right behind me before starting. This is the Warm Honey Fruits and Passion Room Diffuser Oil, and you just put the reeds in it. So easy. It's a really safe alternative to candles because it just slowly kind of scents your room. After a while, it doesn't work as well, but you kind of have to flip the reeds. I should do that. Um, to freshen it up a bit, but it's just a really nice option to have in a room, especially bathrooms, just to keep it a little bit fresh and smelling good. Um, Paula's Choice Resist Retinol Booster. I did not use this in time and it definitely went bad, although it is that like airless pump. Um, it's a good option if you do need a retinol, you can kind of control how much you use. Um, but yeah, I, I actually, I don't really like having to like mix the product myself, so I won't buy it again, but there's that. Okay, Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. I don't like Glossier. I truly haven't tried much from them, but 
Um, I did not like this mask. It was not fun to use and smelled kind of terrible, so wouldn't recommend. The Tea Pigs Minty Fresh Tea. Again, another food item. Um, oh, I have another food item. <laughs> I was really feeling like a foodie this month. Um, this tea is superb, so delicious, and I find it's like, you know, affordable without being like too, too fancy. It's just like reliable, really good tea from Tea Pigs. Highly recommend them. Okay, this True Lime is so good. I use it in absolutely everything, and I find it uh, lasts better than the lemon. Just make sure once you open it to keep it in the fridge, if you do have one of their shakers or um, packs like this. I just refilled like a little shaker of true lime. I use it in like every kind of cooking that requires lime. I just don't really keep limes on hand. I just use this, mix it with a bit of water, and it is pure lime juice without any additives. That liquid lime juice you get in the squeezy thing has some weird oil in it, and it, it tastes terrible. So I only use that, and you can get it on alua.com um, in Canada. It's so cheap and cheerful. Another sheet mask. This is the Superfood 24 Hour Hydration. This is biodegradable bamboo fabric. Um, this was not wet enough, but it's a nice option from Seventh Heaven. A little bit more, you know, nice to the earth. I'm also recycling the packaging here. I don't know if it is recyclable, um, but it looks like it's kind of one of those juice box packages, so I'm gonna recycle that. Okay, I was super disappointed with this. Ficlo Beauty. Um, my. <laughs> My tube broke. Okay, the smell makes me so nauseous because it smells like white chocolate. I hate white chocolate, but also I would put this on my lips after taking my vitamins and the vitamins made me feel nauseous and this together was just disgusting. So I'm throwing that away. It's very sticky and I don't like that when I'm going to bed. So although it does work, um, it's not my lip treatment of choice. I would prefer something a little bit more matte. Um, but I do have their uh, just regular lip gloss and I wore it today and it's quite nice. Um, just a bit expensive, but it is like more organic beauty. So there's a nice option for you. My Veil Cosmetics Sunset Light Primer I think is just old. It's a little bit itchy on my skin. It is a few years old, so I'm gonna toss it. This is an absolutely outstanding made in Canada product and a beautiful makeup primer. So definitely would recommend that if you want a new makeup primer and their foundation is like this stunning matte finish that is gorgeous. So I would really recommend picking that up too if you want some made in Canada cosmetics. The Ordinary Lactic Acid 10%. Um, good, but again, like there's not enough in this to make it worthwhile for me. I don't like the pipette bottle. Mine just got kind of old and gloopy, so I'm tossing it. Um, I just find that the Ordinary products aren't worth the fuss. So I'd rather like a lactic acid cream, like that one from um, Benzagel that kind of does all in one. Okay, Skin Food Rice Mask. This is a wash off. It is so, so good, you guys. I would highly, highly recommend it. And um, it is like a beautiful consistency, a really cute tub. I love skin food. And this just uh, was such a gentle exfoliant with that rice enzyme in it. So beautiful. Okay, these eye drops from Target were like 99 cents. Anti-redness, they are so good. So I picked up like four when I was there in February of 2020 so thank god i stocked up because this girl ain't going to target anytime soon so those are great um this is the silver shampoo from provoke great it's like that purple tone and it just keeps my hair from getting brassy because i do use john frieda go blonder sometimes it can look a little brassy so that was really great neutrogena rapid wrinkle repair this is pretty much the best retinol cream in my opinion at the drugstore. It smells like watermelons if you get the scented, but there is unscented too, which is a little bit better for sensitive skin. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom here. Oh, beautiful product. Dr. Hauschka Rose Day Cream. So good. This is outstanding, especially for like really dry skin, but if my skin is feeling almost like hard in the winter, this has so many good oils in it and just like softened my skin. It healed any kind of um, redness and breakouts. It was really great. Ooh, this is what, this was the Lorac Rose Anti-Redness Cream. This actually had a beautiful texture. So if you're considering like an anti-rosacea type cream, this one from Lorac was a really great sample. Um, I of course didn't use it for very long, but I would definitely recommend it if you have heard anything about it um, or if you were recommended it. I know it's always hard when like people are pressuring you up in the beauty aisle, but that one was beautiful. 
Ooh, Bare Minerals Frame and Define Eyebrow Pencil. This is in Universal Light. Very good. I also like how it has no cap. You just twist it up. So simple and, you know, easy. It's less packaging, less fuss. I'm here for it. Benza Gel Aftercare Lotion. I'm on my second bottle of this. Um, it's amazing. It's just like a very gentle lactic acid moisturizer with squalane olive fruit extract. It is so lightweight. I will literally put it like all over my body some days when I just need to soften my skin and moisturize it a bit. Um, but I actually want this in like a massive pump for the body because it is so good. And I'll just put it on my face too when I need a very lightweight moisturizer. It has changed my life. So that's a must have. Ooh, I hate this. Province Apothecary Makeup Removing Oil. No, no, no. That was like so thick and really didn't do anything. Um, I don't like Province Apothecary, so sorry. I know they're from Toronto, but I find their products to be really bad. Um, so that's that. This is so nostalgic. My Co Bigelow Lip Balm in Mint Spearmint. This is ancient, so I have to get rid of it, but this was so nice. I used it recently. <laughs> I was like, wow, it still tastes the same as it did probably like five years ago. Um, and it just softens your lips like a dream. So if Bath and Body Works still has this, I don't think they do. I would actually repurchase in a jiffy. Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm Moisturizer. This was good, quite thick and sort of sat on the skin. Um, usually I don't really like Dermalogica, but this was actually a really nice cream. So that was good. Ooh, we got some makeup. This is the Laura Mercier Eau Natural Caviar Eye Stick. I love this. This is so good, so worth it. I should buy a full size, but I kept this in my travel bag. Guys, I just used up to the very, very last bit. Um, this was a beautiful color as like a just eyeshadow. You could top it with a bit more color, but it was perfection. I love it. Smashbox High Definition Concealer, just a very lightweight concealer for under the eyes. That's that great kind of peachy tone, really brightened up the under eyes. Loved it for everyday wear. Physician's Formula Brow Gel, not that good. It came with like a pencil on the other side, um, but it's too, too wet, too thick. Sorry, we have the blinds going down behind me uh, in the room. Now we have brow pencil from Mini So. Oh my God, this came with a eyeliner as well. So good, love it, love it, love it. Would totally recommend it. It's this two-in-one um, product that was sold at Mini So. I would buy this again. It was actually stupendous. So check that out. Oh, this is funny. I have a tag because I I opened up another pair of Body Shop bath gloves. I think the quality is going down on them, but um, I use bath gloves. All the time in the shower to wash up. Um, they just make life really easy. Okay, we have this Lisvati eyeliner. So sad. This like fully dried up. Lisvati liners are good, and I didn't realize that they're a Canadian brand. So um, I like this. It just didn't last very long. It's similar to Mac Teddy actually in Intense Chocolate. So this is a beautiful color if you're looking for a new liner. Last but not least. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow in number three. I actually use this today, but um, a different tube of it. Really good. It is perfect for like very fast eyebrows. It both like locks your brows in place and gives them some really good color. So I actually started to like Gimme Brow just recently uh, when my brows were a little bit fuller, um, but it takes a, like there's a bit of a learning curve. So I'd recommend it, but definitely give it some time to warm up on you. I use these facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. They were really nice. I just don't really think they're worth the money. Um, I love my Pixie Glycolic ones, so I'd probably just go with those instead. One more empty, fresh from the shower, is the Bioderm Atoderm Shower Oil. Love this stuff. Um, I just replaced it with the La Roche-Posay version, but these are great. Guys and girls, whole family actually. This is Barrier Repair Body Wash. Cleans without drying out your skin. So great. That is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed listening to my empty products, what I enjoyed, what I might not be purchasing and not loving uh, in the future. Um, but leave any comments or questions below. What have you been loving and leaving uh, lately? I'd love to hear it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.